Mark, it's been five days since the time defeated Time Castle. You've watched it back, you've thought about it. What's your views now? Anything changed since we last spoke, uh, you know, in Edinburgh? No, I think that, um, you know, between now and the end of the season, uh, we'll win games, we'll draw games, we'll lose games. And I think regardless of any result, whether it be beating Celtic at Parkhead, or whether it be uh, getting beaten by Hearts as badly as we did um, at Tynecastle, the next game is the most important thing, you know, so you have to move on quickly. Of course, you've got to kind of take the lessons from it. Um, I, I don't think I learned anything particular about individual players um, other than things, you know, that... Well, I didn't learn anything. I only saw things that we knew already. Um, it was more about the depth and strength of the squad and a, a, a sense that we was exposed, I felt, last week. Um, we were forced then to play people in slightly different positions, um, to do slightly different jobs. And, you know, we were shown that we were short when it came to that. So, you know, we have to address that eventually. But, you know, that's part of the ongoing process. But otherwise, you know, what we have to do is look at previous performances and take the good out of them and make sure we remind ourselves of what they were and what got us the good results, in particular the hard work aspect of it, but then also the the, the, the football and the um, no small amount of individual ability that players brought to those games that got us good results. Without wanting to dwell on that too much, it's the last question I'll ask. I suppose it's more generic, not specifically on that result, but defeats in general. Do you as a manager, after a defeat, think could have done things differently, would have done things differently, and if I did, would they have made a significant difference? Oh my goodness, yeah. I mean, I um, go into a game on a Saturday, and when the boys go through the dressing room, um, I, I the last thing I always, last thought I always had, and always have is, what else could I have done? What more could I have done? What could I have done differently? Is there anything else we could have done in the week? And as long as you know, all the answers are positive, then, then you know, there's nothing more I can do. I can only send them out then and there and hope that they do well. And then afterwards, whatever the result is, um, I do analyse and I do thoroughly dissect, you know, my part in that, you know, did I do something right? Did I pick the right team? Did I ask them to do something they couldn't do? Was there Were there, were there options? Could I have done something differently? And, you know, I, I mean, for instance, if you go back to the... Um, the Hamilton Ackies game, you know, when I felt as if I had to take responsibility um, for making the substitutions when I did, um, which didn't work and I think resulted in us drawing a game that we should have won. You know, I made it quite clear. I phoned around some of the boys on a Saturday night and I apologised and I said to them I felt as if I had made a mistake. So, you know, I'm always prepared to take responsibility if, uh, if that's, you know, what's needed. So, yeah, the answer, the straight answer is yes. I always look at my own performance and uh, uh, if I need to admit a mistake, then I will. Did you sense any of that from Tynecastle? You know, loaded towards that game, did you look back at it and think, would there be anything I've done differently? Or given the nature of the personnel who were missing, did you feel that, you know, your, your hands were tied in that sense? I, I did. You know, I think that um, there wasn't a lot else we could have done. Um, you know, uh, we, we felt that um, losing... Uh, Grimmie and uh, um, Laz um, in particular from the centre of a team that um, had been successful in the previous games, unchanged for six games, um, really made it difficult for us. Um, we, we looked for a, a central midfield player that we felt as if could hold themselves in there and keep the ball and be competitive and at the moment at the club we felt that uh, Josh was the best option so that meant swapping the, the back four around a little bit Stephen Hamill's played right back before Joe's played left back albeit he's just back from injury um, we asked Piero to play a more central role um, and maybe be on the ball more than he normally is in terms of, you know that Piero's usually a running player so there was a lot of things we had to ask people to do and we had no choice but to ask them to do it and of course it, it didn't work as well as it could have done uh, and saying that you know we had the first chance in the game from a, a well worked corner that we had practised in training and if you score that goal there the goals change games and there's no doubt about that the, the outcome could have been a lot lot better whether they won the game or not of course I don't know um, but the outcome could have been a lot better if we had taken that chance at 3 nothing. we had a great chance you know when Wes Fletcher got through and might have scored and didn't score and even then if we get to 3-1 it changes the nature of the game so there were moments in the game when we might have got back and when we might have looked at the, what we made the decisions that we made and thought actually they weren't that bad you know but obviously going on and losing 6 you know you have to look at it carefully but I don't really think we had a lot of choices
Speaking of the choices, Keith Lazzi is now back from threesome for suspension. Obviously, Liam Grimshaw is left. You mentioned in the press conference this morning to, to some of the journalists that, that you would hope if things are possible and budgets allow for it and also players are better than what uh, who are here, that you could add. Is that still the aim? Is that what you're, you're looking to do a week or so before the transfer window? Is yeah, I think I think we have to look at the um, the, the central midfield positions and, and think they were a man short in there. You know, I had hoped that by now... Um, you know, young Jack Leach or or, or uh, Louis Lange, even I see him as a potential midfield player, would have really have stepped up. And, you know, I don't think I don't think they've done enough yet to convince me that they should be in the team right now. You know, they both you know are, are young players and, and and still have time. But you know, I think we need somebody that can be parachuted in there to give Laz and Piero the sort of help that uh, that Liam Grimshaw was giving them, and uh, that's what we were looking for. Ross County at the weekend. Uh, I know you've studied them quite in depth. You've Played them already as a, as as Motherwell boss uh, up at uh, Dingwall. What sort of game are you expecting at Fun Park and stuff? <clears throat> well, I think we went to Dingwall again with a lot of our experience missing. You know, Laz, uh, Steve McManus, and uh, Stephen Hamill were all missing from that game. And it showed the falling performance against Hearts that when we made those back, we were better. So I would expect that even with uh, Grimshaw gone um, and, and Josh injured, that we'd have a much better performance than we did up at Dingwall. Um, we know it's going to be a difficult game. We watched them. I watched them again this morning. watched um, the first half of their game against Dunfermline and I watched a, a large chunk of the highlights of uh, the game against Aberdeen. Watched their set plays, looked at all of that for and against. Um, you see what they are. They first and foremost, they're a team with a great attitude, a great work ethic, honest about it. They just go after the ball, and if they can win it back, they try and play. If they can't, they get it forward and they get after it. So, you know, they're a difficult team to play against, uh, and and we first and foremost have to match that kind of tempo and that sort of effort. Uh, and then after that, if you know our quality up front in particular can shine through, then we have a chance of winning the game. Do you take heart from the encouraging performances and results that we've had in, at home over, over the last two or three months? Yeah, absolutely. I think we've set us all out at home to do certain things and it's worked very, very well for us. I think there's no need to change that regardless of who the personnel are. So, you know, we, we are going to be um, up and at it, as it were, on uh, Saturday. You know, we won't be being too, um, you know, careful, too cautious. Um, we'll, in a sense, almost take uh, Ross County on at their own game uh, where we're going to try and get in their faces. We're going to try and get in behind them as early as we can and play as much of the game in their half as we possibly can in the exact same way as they'll be trying to do it to us. Is it too sophisticated to say that a win brings them back into the, the pool of teams or is it you still focused on try to create as much of a, a distance between the teams below us? Well, you know, you've heard me the last couple of weeks saying that that's how it is and I think last week's result and then other results show exactly why I'm saying that, you know. So I think it's now um, time for people to realise why I say that, and I'm not being kind of, you know, clever, and I'm not being sort of def sort of deflect it. And you know, the reality is that until we get the points we need, we can still consider ourselves in a relegation fight, or certainly in a fight for the playoffs, um, to stay out of the playoffs. So, you know, I, I think we have to remain firmly focused on what's below us and not um, worry about above. The fact is, if we do. Um, get three points against Ross County, it would put us closer to them, which is great news, of course, because it might suck them into the fight that we are talking about rather than us worrying about whether we are pulling ourselves up into some other dimension. I think we've got to you know, f keep our, our sights firmly focused below us. You mentioned Josh Law in our, in our previous answer. Is he the only injury concern you have? What, what other team news is, can you let us know about? Yeah, no, Laz is back and uh, everyone else is trained. Uh, you know, uh, Joe said another week's training. Um, everyone else is fit and ready to go.